morning. It is another day in India and we are in Agra. We drove here all of yesterday. It took us about five or six hours to drive here. We've got our own driver. We stayed at the hotel idea. This was about, we got it in a package. So basically we paid a guy to drive us and it was including with the hotels. The hotel wasn't great. I had hot water, which was, which is good. So we've had to get an electric tuk-tuk because you can't get a petrol vehicle to the Taj Mahal. We're just on our way to the Taj now. I think we're about 10 minutes away. So this is Agra. Eight in the morning. Probably looks very similar to Delhi on camera, but it is a little bit more chilled out. Same kind of vibe though. So from what we've heard, you're not allowed to take any kind of selfie sticks, any like, what was it? No nothing, cigarettes, nothing. Just yeah, just nothing. Passport, no selfie sticks, just your, your phone, phone, passport and wallet. Maybe for security reasons. I'm not sure why you're not allowed selfie sticks. They probably don't want anyone taking professional. Like Thailand, isn't it? Yeah. They don't want people taking professional kind of photos. Mexico, Mexico, done Mexico you. Done you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, going into Chichen Itza, another yeah. world heritage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, yeah. So it was the same thing when we was in Mexico at Chichen Itza. They wouldn't let you take any GoPros or camera equipment in. I think it's so you can't take professional, professional yeah. photos of it. So it's understandable. I'm just doing it with my hand. This is the walk down to the Taj. Where's my free water, bro? What free water? Donnie said you, at the hotel you get a free water when you come in. <laughs> Complimentary. Got you with that. Right, we just passed. We just passed the security to get in the Taj. We are now in the Taj Mahal grounds. Got to pay about thirteen pound to get in the Taj Mahal for foreigners, and then locals pay about wow, fifty pence. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's this you're looking at, Davy? Where? Just a bit of history about it, about how the fellow made it through. This is basically you know. So we're just going to quickly go down the Taj Mahal, take a few snaps, take it all in, and then we're back on the road. We're off to Jaipur today, so we've got quite a long drive. Wow. I was going to turn the camera around right now so you can see the Taj. Wow. As you can see, the Taj Mahal it is impressive. When you're actually here, I'm sure, like a lot of these sites, camera doesn't do it justice, doesn't put it into perspective how amazing it looks. It is pretty cool. But so you're not actually allowed to film in the Taj ground. There's loads of signs there, no cameras past this point, but it looks like everyone's got their cameras out. So I'm just going to be a little bit delo with it. So you're probably right. So like, look, you're not allowed to take photos, but there's loads of officials here all taking photos. So I'm pretty sure it's not that frowned upon. Look. What I read online was that the pillars either side of the Taj are built. They were built at, with a slight angle in them. So in case of like an earthquake or there was ever collapse, they wouldn't actually fall on the Taj. So you can kind of see the two pillars on the side, they, they sit a little, a little angle over. So if they were, if anything was to happen, I think it would probably crumble onto the grass or maybe on. And then also, you know, you've got identical, you've got identical temples. So you've got identical temples on each side. And I believe the left one would be for the king and the right one would be for the queen. They found a new friend. Lovely. Obviously, Taj is behind me. Over here in this little temple, the corner of it is full of monkeys and they're going nuts. I don't know if you can hear them. Sounds like, like, sound like Planet of the Apes. Look at that view, man. That little one. Wow. I don't, know if you, I don't know if the camera's picking that noise up, right? But it sounds like they're all going at it. Oh Look. Oh, 
don't know if you can hear these monkeys, they are sounding crazy. So another amazing thing with the, the site of where the Taj Mahal is, is this river that runs around the back of it. Wow, look at this. Right, so we're just outside Agra Fort, as you can see. Agra Fort is amazing. But I think it's about 600 rupees to go in and we've kind of already spent our daily budget today oh, going in Taj Mahal and everything. We three so days we spent about we're not gonna go in the we're not gonna go in Agra Fort just because we're yeah. on a budget. And we can't just be spending, spending, spending. So we're gonna probably just take a couple of snaps outside, and um, that'll be it. What were you saying? Can you pull over? We take a photo and quickly get out. Right, we are back in the car. We didn't go into Agra Fort because it's too many. I've already explained it's too many rupees. We're on a daily budget, so we're back in the car. And we are on our way to Jaipur, it's about five or six hour drive, so we've got quite a long drive. Don't know how long we're going to spend in Jaipur, probably a day or two. Kind of want to get down to the south now where it's nice and warm. So our driver was just explaining to us Agra Fair and the market, wow look at the market. Well, that busy, busy, busy. No surprise, it's very, very busy here in Agra. I'm sure Jaipur is going to be the same. Hello, right, we've been on the road for about four or five hours. We just stopped off at a little space to have something to eat. The driver's recommended it, so we're just gonna go in. I'm not that hungry. Well, I'm, I'm hungry, but I feel a little bit particular. We've, ate, we've eaten a lot of Indian food in the last couple of days, so we kind of fancy like a pizza or a burger or something. Right, we'll see. I guess it kind of looks like a tourist spot, somewhere that they bring a tourist to eat because the food's a little bit more friendly, less spicy. Bonnie was trying to grab me in the shop already. Yeah. But you know why? That's probably... Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just saying to the camera, um, yeah, it's definitely been a tourist. So it's yeah. probably because the food's a little bit more easier. I don't even know what I was doing there. I don't know where I was filming. I forgot I was just taking a million pictures. Joe, I was just taking a million pictures. Time lapse the whole time. Yeah, because I was trying to get them. Did you see me with them? <laughs> so we've got our hands on some food. It looks really very simple. It's so nice. It's literally just an omelette. Got a cheese omelette. Come with some buttered bread. And he brought over this chili sauce to try with it. Wow. What's it like, Dave? It's different. Fresh. So fresh, isn't it? The taste. Right, you can taste everything in it. Probably because, probably because we're starving. Really nice. Just some chili on it. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. So we're gonna finish up here, get back on the road, and I'll catch up with you either on the motorway or when we get to Jaipur. Ciao. Right, so we've, we've made another little stop off and we're just at a temple. We're just outside some amazing step wells. I, I forgot the name of it. I don't know the name of these step wells, but I'll show you in a second. It is amazing. It's gonna be good. Where did you see this? You don't need a guy, do we? No. No. Bro, we're gonna be five minutes. Thank you. Video charge. It's okay? No, no, video, no, video no, no. charge, video charge. Yes, yes. video charge. 25, 25. 25. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, yeah. Thank you, boss. Thank you.
And I'll give you this. Only one receipt, only mobile camera allows. Yeah. Uh, no, this one. Yes. Uh, 25 rupees charge only. Yeah, 25 rupees. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No this problem. one, no charge. No charge. No uh, problem. Mobile, no charge. Thank you, man. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go back to the same place. I do this. Okay. Thank you. We're well, going to get a change. Um, yeah, it's expected, you know, India. So it's such a beautiful country, but you do get a lot of people because you're white Westerner. You get a lot of harassment. They're not harassment. They're just asking to do bits for you. But the thing is, because we are spending so many rupees every day, we've got a tight budget to stick to. So if you're getting tours every five minutes, you're doing tours, and you've got guides, and your the money doesn't last. So it is what it is. Like I said, but it's, I'm sure it'll be a lot worse in Mumbai. Wow. Wow. Absolutely, I didn't, I know I say this a lot, actually didn't, generally didn't expect it to be this big and impressive. Unreal, beautiful. So yeah, six, six, six step well. Glad we stopped off here. Amazing. Amazing. So deep as well. Camera probably don't give it much perspective, but it's high up. Sick. And the other thing, the other big thing, I don't know if you can see it. Well, of course you can see it in the sky, but yeah, the sun's out now, so it's nice and warm, which is making a big difference. Yeah. <laughs> Another day, more selfies. I take off all of you, yeah? Nice. nice. Thank you. Good picture. And you're bad. This is a so, selfie. Selfie, yeah? Selfie, yay. Well, Alright, we're in Jaipur. Not really sure what our plans are. We're just going to mince around and just look around and just... Oh, oh see this one to see. We're just going to look around. See what there is. So there's quite a few things we need to do, actually. Go see the Amber Fort. Go tomorrow. see... Yeah, 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 tomorrow. And, um... Yeah, I'll show you around. Once you get to our room and sort it out, I'll switch the camera back on. We're just at a monkey reserve. We're just going to check out some monkeys. It obviously costs us more rupees. Trying to knock me from the beginning. Yeah, sometimes pricing is a bit unclear out here. So as you can see, it's quite a beautiful ground that these monkeys have got to themselves. It's like an old monastery or temple. Um, yeah, it's very beautiful. Some of the architecture and the buildings is beautiful. The water I'm looking at right now is rotten. I mean, look at this. That water looks rancid, so I don't want to fall in there. Um, yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Monkeys have got a good little spot. Huh? Monkeys have got a good little spot, isn't it? Free food. Fair free food. Mountains all around. 